I absolutely love it when people share their secrets, and today I'm going to share with you three social media secrets that nobody tells you, and my friend, this is going to change the way you view your social media platforms. Are you ready to dive in? I know I am. Episode 255 starts right now. Welcome to the Laura Shipman Show minicast, a special edition of my podcast where it's just you, me, my mic, your earphones, plus quick tips and hacks you can implement immediately to improve your life and your business. Are you ready to get started? I know I am. Let's dive in. Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the show. I'm so excited you're here with me today because you know why. Today is my favorite day of the week, and that's minicast day. And if you haven't been here for a mini cast before, my friend, you are missing out, but I am glad you are here with me today because here's how it works. I give you content, ideas, information, tools, tips, resources that are easy to consume, but also they're really easy to execute. So when you listen to a mini cast, the deal is this, you take what you learn from this episode and then you execute it immediately into your business and start experiencing these mini wins. So that's what my goal is for you today. And today we're going to do three social media secrets that people don't really talk about. And I don't know why, because I think it will help you understand social media better, execute better quality content, and get more results, the results that you're actually looking for. So let's just dive into these three secrets right now. The first secret I'm going to tell you is this. Everybody says don't sell on social media, but the truth is social media is a marketing channel, regardless what the experts say. The secret is, however, is how you put your content out there so that it doesn't feel like marketing and advertising and salesy. That's the real secret. If you can create content that serves people, that helps people, that provides a networking platform for people to get to know, like, and trust each other, that's how you go about it. It's creating content that just doesn't feel like marketing at all. And by the way, that is the best type of marketing you can do regardless of the medium, right? So regardless if it is on social media or if it's a blog or if you're doing a YouTube channel or wherever you market your business, if it doesn't feel like marketing, but instead it's really helpful information, you will win every time. People will begin to know, like, and trust you. And then when it's time to actually pitch to them, they will have no problem buying from you. And there's this quote that I always remember that Zig Ziglar said once, and it is, you will get all that you want in life if you help enough other people get what they want. Okay, so your action takeaway point here is take a critical look at the social media content that you are putting out there. Are you sounding too salesy? Are you pitching to people all the time? Or are you actually providing valuable content that will improve people's lives? Or maybe you're doing this. Maybe you're building a community, a tribe. You're networking with people on the internet and you have a bunch of internet friends and people that you positively impact on a daily basis. Either way, it's not salesy. It's not pitchy. It doesn't feel like marketing at all. And that's when you know that you are winning. Secret number two is that social media is SEO friendly, search engine optimization friendly. So what that means is if you stay consistent enough and make stellar content, content that is highly valuable, that your audience is looking for, you may find that your social media content is showing up in search engines before your own website does. This is huge. When this happens, it means that you are creating content that people want to see and that you're using search terms and language that people are actually looking for. And that gets you a lot of exposure, especially if there's a lot of engagement involved with that content. So if we kind of wrap this all around into a little circle here, that's why it's important in step one or secret one to build relationships online that doesn't feel like marketing because when you do that, you're building engagement. And when you build more engagement, your posts get more exposure because the algorithms of the social media platforms reward people who have highly engaged audiences on the content that they put out there. 
So what you really want to do is you want to focus on secret number one and secret number two together and really make social media work for you and your business. Secret number three is this. Social media works differently for each niche and every single business. So no two businesses can really do social media the same way and get the same results. And the reason why this is, is because we're all attracting different customers, that different ideal target market customer. So what you really need to do is sit down and figure out what type of content your audience is really looking for. Are they looking to see you show up weekly on a YouTube channel or would they rather get short snippets of information from you on an Instagram story or possibly they might want to read a blog, everything that you know about a certain subject or they might want to listen to you on a podcast or have you interview people in your industry who can give real true insight into what's going on. What you really need to do is sit down and figure out what it is your audience wants from you and then deliver on that. And a great way to do this is to use like Instagram stories, Facebook stories, LinkedIn stories, and take polls. Ask your audience, what is it they want to hear from you? What kind of information are they looking for? And then deliver that information and things will change. You will get that engaged audience that you are craving. So if there was one more secret I would add to this episode, it's this. Social media is hard work and it's time consuming. There is a lot that goes into it. It's finding those perfect content ideas, those ideas that you know your audience is going to resonate with and that they want to hear about. It's writing the content that actually appeals to your audience, that keeps them interested, that keeps them reading. It's creating amazing graphics that just stops the scroll, that gets people to pay attention to your content. It's also all about testing ideas regularly because guess what? Social media is changing regularly and that means people's interests are changing regularly. So you need to stay current with what's working. Another thing is reading analytics. That will tell you all the answers you want to know of what's working, what's not working. And then what you have to do is go ahead and test again and again and again, and then tweak again and again and again until you get your formula right. But once that formula is right, don't get lazy. You want to make sure you're always staying one step ahead, like always tweaking, always testing to make sure your content is fresh and exactly what your audience wants. And then finally, communication is key on social media. You can't just post it and forget it. You need to stay involved with your audience, reply to comments, reply to direct messages, and always have that conversation going. Because once the conversation stops, the interest in your account stops too. Okay, my friends, well, that does it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got some really good takeaways, things that you can implement in your social media accounts today. Little changes every day makes a huge difference. So go ahead, I challenge you, challenge you to do all three of these things, but if you can't do all three, at least pick one, execute on it, and then see those mini wins coming in. And like I said, those mini wins, they add up to big wins. All right, my friends, that does it for this episode. Until next time, you know what to do. Stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay social.